Dear my beautiful, very soon to be wife, words can't express my love for you. I can't wait to see you walking down the aisle. I love you so much, husband. To my future husband, and I love how she chose hot pink. She knows that's my favorite. <laughs> uh, honey, I can't believe the day is finally here where I officially get to call you my husband. Two weeks into knowing each other, you told me that you'd get me to fall in love with you. At that time, I thought you were a crazy person. Little did I know I was falling in love with you as the days went by. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for me these past four years. Enjoy your small gifts, I got you. I'm sure that yours will outshine mine as always. I love you and can't wait to see you all dressed up. Love you most, Jen, wife, wifey poo, and woman. <laughs> Today we're gathered to witness and celebrate the wedding of Genesis and Dakota and the beginning of a new partnership between two people who are very much in love. This wedding unites two lives in the miracle of love. It combines old traditions with new meaning. It joins two families and creates a new one. It brings together the unique qualities of two very special people and multiplies their joys for all the days that lie ahead in their new roles as a married couple. So without further ado, before God and all those gathered here today, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Dakota, you may now kiss your bride. I could go on and on about how amazing of a person my sister is, but I'm sure you all know that. Now when it comes to her and Dakota, let me start by saying, Dakota, thank you. I don't know anyone else who would be able to handle this giant, crazy family of ours. You are so charming, which I'm sure is how you won over Michelle. You also seem like it was no big deal. You've given so much love to our nieces and nephews, have the patience to help us, whether it's tech-wise or muscle-wise. And you always bring a positive attitude to any family gathering. I knew Jen before she met Dakota, and I will say that I didn't think there could be a happier version of Genesis. But after they met, she just had this change in her personality, but it wasn't so much a change necessarily as a enhancement of the beautiful quality she already possesses. Seeing them grow together the past few years has been incredible because they really do complement each other perfectly. So thank you Dakota for always putting her needs above your own.
One thing I've always looked up to you, other than you generally you're like literally a foot taller than me, is that you know um, what 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 would happen if you fail? Well, you learn from it. What would happen if you succeed? Well, you've improved from it. And then what happened when you really figured it all out? Well, you found Jim. Nailed it. <laughs>